Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna do a booty and ab workout. You will need a resistance band just to really activate those glutes and that booty. So let's start putting it on. I'm going to put it right above my knees. Roll the shoulder blades back and engage that core. We're gonna step over to the right and a step over to the left. We're just activating that glute right here and really press through those heels. And every time you're coming up, I want you to give those legs, give that booty a little extra squeeze. It is so important that you're connecting here with the muscles that you're actually working for the optimal results. So squeeze back in and lower down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tiny little pulses down here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're staying low. We're just reaching the left leg out and that right leg out. Keep that butt low, go one inch lower. Put yourself right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back up. Okay, grab a wall or a chair or anything you have right here. Slight bend into that left, left leg. Your right leg is backward. We're squeezing up and lowering down. Squeeze up and lowering down. Flex that foot so you're really activating that glute right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in, the right arm comes onto that right hip. We're opening up to the side, open up and close down for 10. Slow and controlled when you're lowering that leg down. So the movement of coming down is as important as lifting up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here, tiny little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. That glute should be warm, should be fired up. We're going straight to the other side. Slight bend into that right leg. The left leg extends long. Flex that foot, we're reaching up and lowering down. Every time that leg comes up, we're squeezing that butt. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, tiny little pulses up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Bring that chest up, engage that core, and we're opening up to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one. Open up, tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down and shake it out. And we're going straight through the ground. We're coming onto our all fours. Extend that left leg long. Flex the heel, we're lifting up and lowering down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place that right elbow onto the ground. We're coming into a donkey kick right here and then into a fire hydrate to the side. Donkey kick and fire hydrate. There we go for eight, seven, six, keep breathing, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Come into that donkey kick right here. Flex that foot and we're coming into our tiny little leg poses right here. Flex that heel and press it through the ceiling. Activate that glute for eight, seven, six. I know we're feeling that burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. And lower down and come back to those all fours. Roll the shoulder blades back. We're coming straight into the other side. Reach that right leg long, flex the heel, lifting up and lowering down. Lifting up and lowering down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, coming into, come go into your left elbow if you want. Lower down and open up to the side in that fire hydrant. Donkey kick and open up to the side. Do this motion slow and controlled, please. Engage that core. There you go. For seven, keep breathing. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold it here, come onto your elbows, tiny little pulses for 10, nine. Squeeze and press that heel into the ground, flex that foot. Four, three, two, and one. And lower down, come into a quick little child's pose. Extend those arms long, take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more breath, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And slowly roll back up and come on over to or back. There we go. Bring the both legs into a tabletop. Those arms come behind the neck, elbows are nice and wide. I want you to feel resistance on this band. So open up those knees a little bit, open up those legs. Now coming into a little sit up, opening up those legs and slowly lower down. Sit up, open up those legs and lower down for eight. Working those abs, working those legs. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tiny little pulses with the leg open. Those shoulder blades are still coming off to the ground. We're engaging that core for five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly lower down. Bring the knees to the ground. Take a really deep breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Bring the left knee into the tabletop. Bring the right knee in the tabletop. Head, neck, or shoulders come off to the ground. Press that back into the ground and engage that core. I want you to extend the left leg long so it's hovering above the ground. Those elbows are nice and wide. Chest is open. And we're switching right here. Switch for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly roll back down. Now, grab your resistance band. I want you to place it right here at your ankles. Now, extend the legs long. The hands can be underneath the butt or extended next to your body. This will give a little bit more back support in case you feel it in your lower back. Now, I want you to slowly lower down those legs and reaching them back up for 10, nine, eight, seven. I know we're feeling that burn into those lower abdominals right here for six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, tiny little scissors right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly lower down, extend those arms long, extend the legs long, take a really deep breath and bring those knees in. I want you to let that whole upper body sink into the ground, lower those legs over to the left, feel that nice extension, feel that rotation in that upper body, switch to the other side, knees fall over to the right, look over to the left, and just sit in it for a little bit. Inhale, and exhale. Great job, come back to the middle. We're bringing the band back to our booty right here. The arms are next to our body. Open up the chest, so your chest and your back, or your back is pressing into the ground. Arms are pressing into the ground, coming into a glute bridge right here. Activate that glute. We're slowly lowering down and coming back up. Reach up. If you want, you can extend those arms long and squeeze. Eight, seven, six. Feel that resistance on the bands. Maybe pull those knees one inch further apart. Like push yourself a little bit right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're opening up and lowering down. Open up and lower down for eight. Seven, keep breathing. Six, press through those heels. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here. I'm just gonna reach the arms back and to the middle. Back and to the middle for eight, seven. Squeeze those legs apart. Feel those glutes working. Feel them burning here. Five. We only have 15 minutes today. Three, two, and one. And slowly lower down and bring those legs or bring those arms next to your body. Great job. Now bring the left knee into tabletop and come back to your glute bridge right here on one leg, coming into our tiny little pulses on this side for 10, nine, eight. Again, if you wanna modify, you can always Take the resistance band off and just do these exercises without the resistance band. Trust me, you will also still feel it. Two and one and slowly lower down. Bring the right knee into a tabletop and then slowly meet me back into that one-legged glute bridge. Tiny little pulses on this side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Now I want you to bring those heels together, toes are apart, so in that Pilates feet, the knees are wide, and we're slowly coming back into our glute bridge and lowering down. Arms come up to the sky. Now every time you're moving down, the arms are coming into this T position, also lowering down. So because we change the position of our legs, we are just targeting a little bit more of that inner tie right here for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze it up here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and lower down and move over to the left side coming into a couple leg openings right here into a clamp spinal ones here for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one Press yourself up, coming to the other side, or final ones right here, 
and we will do a little stretch we will be done so final climb we're opening up and lowering down for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and you are all done for today please take your booty band off coming into your back into a stretch place that right leg on top of the left grab underneath your knee and pull it towards your chest now feel this really deep stretch into that right hip into that right glute that we just really work it is so important to do these stretches afterward after you finish with your whole workout and if you want to spice it up a little, you can always add another workout from the last week. Or I have some in the library as well, some shorter forms. So press towards your knee and switch to the other side. Bring the left knee in towards your chest and pull the right knee and feel that left glute stretching here. Inhale and exhale. Great job. Press yourself up over to the sides and you are all done for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you wanna join more express workouts, wanna follow a whole program or longer form workouts, I have them on my website, soulsinkbody.com, where you can try a free trial and just test it out. And I'll see you guys very soon.